The Shahid-136 is an Iranian loitering munition, suicide drone. In Persian Shahid stands for witness. This drone was designed by Shahid Aviation Industries and produced by Hiza. In 2019 this drone was launched from Iran against the Saudi oil plant. Officially, the Shahid-136 is in service with Iran since 2021. In 2022 a large numbers of these drones were exported to Russia, where the Shahid-136 is known as Garin-2. In 2022 Russians widely used these suicide drones against the targets in Ukraine. Main role of this drone is to attack stationary ground targets, which coordinates are known. It strikes preset coordinates. This drone is not efficient against moving targets. This drone has a delta wing shape. It resembles a smaller Shahid-131 and differs mainly in wingtip stabilizers. It uses a Mato MD-550 piston engine, developing 50 horsepower. This is a Iranian copy of a German Limbach L550E. The engine is at the rear and pushes the drone forward. Maximum speed is around 185 km per hour. Exact range of this drone is unknown, though various estimates range from 1,000 km to 2,500 km, flight ceiling is up to 4 km. The Shahid-136 packs a high-explosive fragmentation warhead. It weights around 36 to 50 kg. So in terms of explosive power it outperforms a 155 mm artillery shell. The drone is launched from a rack, which holds five of these drones. The rack can be installed on a truck. In traveling order it looks like a standard logistical truck with a canvas cover. The Shahid-136 is launched nearly horizontally and uses a rocket-assisted takeoff. Examination of crashed and shot-down drones in Ukraine revealed that it uses a number of Western and Chinese components in its construction. Ukrainians report that it uses a computer processor made by Altera Corporation from the USA, although without any markings. So Iran managed to overcome sanctions and receive vital components for its drones that are not for sale to general audience. The drone has got no remote control. Instead, it has a simple inertial navigation system with consumer-grade GPS system to strike its target. Operational use revealed that Shahid-136 is resistant to anti-drone rifles and electronic warfare systems. In 2019 a swarm of 25 missiles and drones, including Shahid-136, was reportedly launched from Iranian Ahmadiyya military base against a Saudi oil plant. Even though Houthis claimed responsibility for the attack, the UN investigators concluded that the attack was executed by Iran. This particular case revealed that air defenses of Saudi Arabia cannot completely defend against such drone attacks. The Shahid-136 is not that effective against military targets as it is large, slow, and noisy. Its piston engine emits distinctive sound of a lawnmower or a moped. Ukrainians nicknamed these drones flying mopeds. It can be heard at significant distances. Some sources suggest that this drone was specially designed to destroy civilian infrastructure rather than military targets. The Shahid-136 is rather inexpensive. Unit price is unknown but estimates vary from $20.000 to $50,000. Actually this is a small sum considering how much damage such drone can cause to civilian infrastructure. Furthermore a surface-to-air missile to shot down this drone will cost more than the price of this drone. A swarm of these drones can simply expend missiles of air defense systems. This is favorable for the attackers as defender will spend significantly more defending from these drones with traditional methods. Variants Garin-2 is a Russian name for Shahid-136. In 2022 Russia reportedly obtained at least two 400 of these drones from Iran to meet an urgent operational requirement during the war with Ukraine. Russian version reportedly has a built-in GLONASS satellite navigation system. In 2022 these drones were widely used against Ukraine's civilian targets, such as power plants. Ukrainians reported that their air defense systems intercept 85% of these drones. Still though some of them managed to hit their targets.